This is Ambitious Angela reporting from the Connecticut Barber Expo 2017, DT Barber Expo 7. And I'm here with Thursday for Realm. How you hey, doing? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. You know, it's been a, a long day. You know, we, there's so much energy in the building, you know, but hey, this is a great place for the industry. What do, what do you think about it? I love it. I'm here today with uh, two of my apprentices just to kind of get them indoctrinated, get them on the right path because it's, like you said, it's been inspirational for me as well. Just How many years have you been coming to this? This is, this is probably my fourth year. Yeah, fourth year. Now, how, do you, how have you seen it grow? You know, obviously the, the, the vendor size, the venue change and stuff, but how do you see it being, being different from the years prior? I think the years prior, it was more like a nightclub feel because it, it was held in, a, in like a stadium, but more of like a nightclub feel, more of an amphitheater. It was dark. Um, a lot of people supported it, but now it's starting to transform into a more professional, um, educational platform with different vendors and, uh, you know, some excellent competition on the stage. And we can see it because at the last one, it was so far back that you really couldn't see it. But the way they situated the stage tonight, you could see the haircuts being performed. So it's been, it's been what, what are they going to have to do to get you on there? Uh, I'm a vet, man. I, I got I got 20 something years in. I, I don't have nothing to prove. I don't have nothing to prove. I, I already laid my claim to fame. Um, 20 years, that's my trophy, you know? I remember we were in Philly. Uh, we, we got to talk at the Hair Jam. Shout out to uh, Toot the Barber. Um, and we talked about you being a veteran. Talk, talk to me more about your service. Well, I spent seven years in the Army. I played basketball for six of those seven years for the military. I uh, lived overseas. I got to experience other cultures. and um, It definitely changed my life for the better. I don't think I would be the same person I am today if I hadn't spent that time in the military. And uh, tell me more about, as a leader, how do you think that the military kind of got you ready? Because you said you, you came here with apprentices. You didn't come here for you or to showcase or to sell some, some products or anything. You came here to help your younger generation um, grow in this industry. How do you think the military got you ready for that? Well, one thing the military, it does create quality leaders. I think um, we're put in situations where, you know, somebody could lose their lives if we aren't performing well. And having great people over top of me, like I think of my, uh, my first sergeant. Uh, a story that I can say about him is, he wouldn't even eat until the last soldier ate. Like that's how intense he was on making sure that he was taking care of the people underneath him. Tell me more about what you're doing in Philly, because I remember, did you had just opened up another shop? Yeah, we have a we have a location in Pennsylvania. It's a family-owned business. We've been in business for over 21 years. Uh, it's called Jolie, which just means beautiful in French. It's more of a hair salon with me being the barber. But now with this new business that we've uh, entered into in 2016, it's a barber shop with, we're focusing more on men's grooming, and it's called Polish, and um, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing seven months. Blood, sweat, tears, I mean, you name it. All the emotions, joy, pain, sorrow, pulling my hair out, why did I do this? To, you know, but when I turn that key every day, it's, it's the best feeling in the world. Tell me about that that environment, that ambiance that you have at your new place, that you kind of merged from the salon world into the barber shop. What are some of those services that you guys are providing? Well, we um, one is we have a modern, a very modern, uh, I'm talking about like antique barber chairs, but mixed with like a modern decor with steel and, and uh, leather. Uh, but it's like old school meets new school and they, and they clash. Tell me about price points. What, what's, what's the prices on these things? I know Philly can be a, a rough market, but if you're pampering me and you're getting these tips, I, I, come on, well, lay it on me. And, well, the, the second location is in Delaware, but Delaware is on an economic level, we have a lower cost of living. But for where we live at, we're commanding a good dollar. A basic haircut will run you 25. With beard, it'll run you 35. 
Uh, if you wanted to get a fancy design or something, it's 35 and up. We offer color services for our men as well, 55 and up. And um, we, 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 we're being received with great reviews. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, please let the people know where they can follow you and maybe come get a haircut at one of these uh, est fine establishments. Okay. You can follow me on any of my social media at The Girl Can Cut. You can also catch me in Philly. It's 51 Long Lane, Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. Any uh, last words that you would give some of these young uh, barbers coming out of barber school um, that are looking to, to grow themselves? My advice would be, I think, in a world of social media, we have a lot of people who create these facades online. And it's all facades. They, they know great photographers. They know great uh, videographers. But focus on your clients. I mean, focus on taking care of the people in your community. I love likes and I love followers. And I love when people compliment me in, in what I'm doing. But at the end of the day, the people that pay my bills and the people that, that I believe are, are the celebrities are the people who sit in my chair every day. And I think too many barbers are, especially young barbers, are getting caught up in the mix with all this limelight that for some people it's just limelight. When you look into the, the crevices, they're, they're not doing anything. But, you know, they got 12K followers. And a lot of the guys I know that got 3K and 5K followers, you know, they're the ones taking several trips to the bank every week. Guys, stay connected. Um, stay tuned. We have a lot more coverage of the Connecticut Barber Expo. Um, and my girl, Thursday Pharrell. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You, I can't you. wait to come get polished <laughs> in Delaware. Awesome, awesome. Looking forward to having you. Yes. Thank you so much. There it is.